GBN News understands that several business places were seriously affected by this morning's strike action. The action saw hundreds of people stranded on bus stops and other collection points. In Grand Dance, a group of young ladies traversing from St. Andrews hitchhiked to get to the Grand Dance area. One spoke to our news crew. I thank God that I made it, although I have to walk from here to the youth center. But I'm, I'm very thankful. You're traveling from where? From St. Andrews, straight down to St. George's, from St. George's to, to Grand Dance. And I want to thank God so much that I made it here today. Other persons trying to get to work called the situation unbelievable, citing concerns over the way in which the issue was addressed by the busmen, which resulted in long lines of traffic in the areas of Springs to Lagoon Road, St. George's, and Lucas Street onto the capital. The busmen, whose central location was the Camerhorn Park on Tuesday, spoke with one voice through President Roger Telesford. He says the frustrations began two years ago when present number three or traffic court magistrate Jerry Seals began imposing what has been described as heavy and unreasonable fines on bus operators. The president is of the view that the basis for imposing sentences on operators need to be relooked. Zeroing in on what he understands as traffic offenses should be cleared every six months. He is proposing a reintroduction of the numeric point system. You know definitely you have nine numeric points. Your license can be revoked anytime then you fall in line. Uh, no questions. No question asked because you know you committed those acts. The numer numeric points is one way of nobody have to bully you. You keep yourself in, 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 um, intact. Busmen Lennox Joseph and Michael Joseph both had their license taken away in recent time as a result of traffic offenses. I had a, maybe five write up and I was charged 6,500. So how you was, pay back then? Well, I'm not certain how I'm going to pay back, but the, if I cannot pay, my, my license is also revoked. So I cannot work. I, I, I was given three months on each charge for five, t for five charges. The judgment that I had an accident and the, Mr. Jerry still tell me I am wrong. When I tell him, well, I have the take of the pictures that I could show with the accident, he tell me he don't want no need of that. He don't want no part of that. This is his court. And he charged me that. A thousand dollars and the spot, and still take my license. Well, you don't tell me why is the reason to take the license, but I won't really sit down and I think about why you didn't is the ask? reason. I well, I asked other people why is he. But you didn't ask him. No, I didn't ask him nothing again because I realize he's done get upset already, and I don't want to be because I feel that he would have sent me into prison. As to the issue of too many buses along the route, the president had this proposal. We propose six months every six months you issue some new stickers so if you have and we're not seeing grand dance alone that's what that has been happening we've seen probably close to 40 or between 40 to 45 buses come to grand dance route over the past four months and check other routes maybe four three two one none monjalu zero new stickers yeah monjalu zero that's just one route um, you have other routes that you can call. I'm not sure if Bolio got any new. Um, Bolio in particular, particular got any new, new stickers. Um, Tempe. You see, so filling up Grand Dance route is not going to help us in any way. His comments were further supported by former President Carly in Cambridge. Cambridge says busmen are among those paying the most taxes. Hence, he is appalled over what has now become a war between the operators and the state. In 2001-2002, we were negotiating with um, the Honorable Gregory Boeing as Transportation Minister. And at the end of the, 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 the discussion or negotiation, they arrived at what we call the bus route regulation. Okay? And uh, as Minister of Public Transport, he, make it, he made it known to the state in a press conference that before you buy, you must apply. So in other words, there are control okay, over the, 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 the influx of buses. 
So you have to apply to the, the route where you want to walk because there is an association there and the Ministry of, of Public Transport. As a result, buses was coming in, but not as today. The same government is back in office. And that legislation seems to be out the back door. And we have an influx of buses. I mean, like, every week, they could say buses coming in in Grand Dance. Sometimes six, seven, eight. Okay? Buses just flowing and make it more and more difficult for those who are already in the business. Okay? To, 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 to function. They involve in and they don't involve in all that. Because I, I work bus. Some of them, they don't have a vehicle. So you, so you see the, the disparity. We are willing to get the situation resolved amicable. But the authorities is heavy-handed. The Grand Dance Bus Association has confirmed that the strike action will enter a second day on Wednesday with increased support from other associations as far as the east of the island. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.